Today, let's cover how to clean the hybrid battery fan on a Lexus CT200H or Toyota Prius. Welcome back to the Auto Obsessive Garage. Chadwick with you again for another installment of the Mechanic Roleplay Series. Real quick and easy, guys. Well, the job does take some time, but if you have a CT200H by Lexus or a Prius by Toyota, your hybrid battery does have a fan. Now you'll notice this little vent in the rear of the vehicle. That's just the entry point. You gotta get down into that fan. The fins often collect a lot of dust, debris, build up over the years, and that probably takes quite a bit away from your hybrid fan efficiency. So this is a maintenance item that's not really covered as a maintenance item anywhere, but it's something you should do on a fairly routine basis. And if you have not done it on your car, it's probably time to do it. Let's get in the garage and get a little less dirty. The first step in cleaning our hybrid battery fan is actually opening the rear passenger door. Right down here is the fan panel. This is where the inlet is for the air. And there's a filter under here. So we gotta to get to this. Best way to access this, fold this rear seat down, and then we'll get to the edge. And you can actually pry it off with your hands or use a pry tool. Let me show you guys. We just come in nice and easy, grab the latch, and we'll lower this as the 60% seat, just like so. And you can see the vent here where it comes around. Here's the edge where my fingers are. You can actually pry up on that or just get a plastic pry tool and pop that off. And I'm just gonna use my fingers. Put them right in there. You might have to remove this rubber molding right here. Should just pop out like so as well. And then carefully, there's some clips holding it in. There we go, that's the vent going down. And we don't have a filter on ours, interesting. I don't know if someone replaced that at one time or what happened there. Let's look into that. Oh, bad luck there not having the filter. That part's gonna be out of order. It's just a little stretchy mesh thing that goes over that filter, but next part, we gotta get down to the fan because if that filter hasn't been there, probably a little dirty. Now, obviously, we need to pull a lot out of the back of our car. So let's open the hatch. And we need to just yank everything out of here. So you have one of these nice little carpets. Go ahead and pull him out. And now you gotta pull off this little floor part here. And you have your little cool container stuff. I think they just did this to fill the space because the hybrid battery's up there. So go ahead and pop that right out. The spare can stay, we don't have to mess with that. But for safety reasons, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery, which is located right here. And that's just because we're gonna be messing around with electrical things. Let's do that at this time. To access the battery, of course we're gonna remove more panels. So you've got this little top piece here. This guy's held down by a little clip down here. Super easy to pull that out. Just unscrew it, boom, pull it out. And now you can see our regular 12 volt battery there. All we're gonna be doing is disconnecting and we gotta take off this little panel here to access it. A couple little more clips as everything is held together. That's the cover for your battery. Looks like a 10 millimeter. Just gonna get our 10 millimeter in here. Okay, once we pull off the negative terminal end, which you can see right there, we're good to go. No more worry about getting shocked here. Ultimately guys, where we're going is right under here. So obviously you can remove a couple more things to get to it. That's where our fan resides. Let's get in there. Now we need to remove this big panel here. It's interesting how this one's held down. Obviously there's clips everywhere in this place. Guess we better pull this side off too. Didn't think I had to, but here we go. Take this side apart as well. Same thing, little partial shelf with a little unscrewing thing down here. And here we go. Now taking off this big plastic piece, obviously there's a lot of Velcro holding the seat backs on, but this is all clips that pop up, as you can see. Actually, they're supposed to just be clips, but there's a 10 millimeter bolt in there I gotta loosen up. So pulling off this black cover, this plastic right here, there's definitely a 10 millimeter bolt right there, so let's get him out of here. That's the only bolt I've seen so far taking apart this interior, so. Here we go. Interesting, interesting, interesting. No one said anything about that. Here we go, we can now pull that piece out. Now we can just pick this whole plastic section up, pull it up, and the Velcro piece, there we go. Take a look at that area right there, that inconspicuous area, because that is where we're going. That's where our fan lives. So we gotta get access 
into here. Next, we gotta remove this vent piece right here. There is one plastic clip simply holding it there, but to access that, to the back seat. And here we are at that vent, so let's use our trim removal tool and pop this clip right out of here. Definitely launch it across the car. No, it's still fine. <laughs> and that's all you need. This thing should pull out away from the unit like so. Ta-da. Now to get this fan cover off. All right, to get that fan cover, that fan shroud off, we have to access some hidden clips that are down under the rear seat. That's always fun. But don't dismay, my friends. You just simply put some back up. And to pull the rear seat bottom out, it's super easy, guys. If you've never pulled seats out of the car, you just simply grab under here. You're gonna lift up, pull, and then you can pull it out to unhook it. We don't need to take the seats out all the way. There we go. And you just kind of scoop the bottom out. You can fold these seats down still. No issue there. And then come right into here and you will see, there it is. We're gonna pop that off with the tool and then we can pull that fan shroud right off. After you're done wrestling with that old clip, there's another one here, a little more accessible right through the trunk. Pop that right up. Now you can pull this fan shroud right off. And there we have it, folks. There's our first look at our fan. Now to get that fan out of there, we got some minor obstacles in our way, folks. We have four 10 millimeter bolts we gotta take off. You see two up here, two are under this inlet vent, which I'm gonna show you to remove. It has a clip holding it on, so obviously we're taking that off. And then we've got some electrical connectors up here. Uh, this guy right here to free our fan and we'll obviously get rid of that clip that's holding it to the frame here. All those need to come off so we can pull our fan out. So let's go ahead and do that clip first. And there's our happy little clip holding this vent fan on. I always put too much power in it. There's our clip, get it before it goes down and never ever land. There you go, got the clip out. The vent fan doesn't need to be fully removed. You can just simply pull it back from the unit. And down there you'll see two shiny 10 millimeter bolts we need to pull out. Those 10 millimeter bolts loosened. Rather than destroying your fingers trying to get them out, grab yourself a nice magnetic tool and go down there and retrieve them. There's one. There's the other. It also appears that one is a bolt with a washer and the other is a nut. All right, time to access the bolts in the front. Pretty loose, we've got a clip here we need to pop off uh, and then disconnect this electrical connector. That should be the only thing holding that motor on. We've got this loom of wiring going to the battery. That needs to be clipped off. It's onto the fan shroud there too, so that needs to come free. And this clip here, obviously. Let's pop those up. And a little jiggle here, okay. Got some pretty good movement there. Uh, we should be able to pull it up kind of at an angle here. There we go. Oh, she's coming. Ta-da, fan is free. Now, if you have your doubts if your fan is dirty or not, before we even separate the housing, which I'll show you how to do, you can see inside of there. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip, just a clean Q-tip. Oh my God, guys. Look at that, I made a shiny spot in there. These things should be light colored, these blades. This is very dirty. Let's crack open this housing and we can really get in there and clean. Okay, pretty straightforward here. We've got some Phillips head screws to take off. And then there's a couple clips that kind of undo from the back here. So let's let's open up our fan and see what we're working with here. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's so gnarly. You guys can see where I wiped. Where's that one I did with the Q-tip? <laughs> right there. You can see that one blade in there that I did with the Q-tip. I want to actually use liquid. I'm just going to use clean Q-tips and get it pretty dang clean. So. I'll show you the motion. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'm going to tune out. It's going to take a little while, but I'm just going to take a Q-tip and get in these blades like this. Just really, oh, look how gnarly that is. Well, either way, there you go. Big, nasty, dusty fan blades in there. I could try blowing out with air, but I bet it's going to be stuck on there, so 
I'm gonna take my time Q-tip it up and I'll show you guys the updated cleaned fan. Okay, that took way longer than I want to admit, but it came out pretty dang good. No liquids used at all, guys. I just used Q-tips and some craft paintbrushes. Really clean, super happy how it is. Guys, wear a face mask if you're really brushing in there because this stuff flies everywhere and it's some pretty gnarly dust. But I am so happy. This thing was just coated with dust before and look at it now. Awesome. Well, time to put everything back together. All right, we've got our almost brand new looking fan to put back in. This thing's awesome. And this is just something to help the health of that big expensive thing right there. That hybrid battery, hopefully last a little longer, perform a little more efficiently. But yeah, I'm so happy how this came out. It's kind of a time consuming job. It's a pain in the butt just to reach this part, but guys, if you have one of these CT200Hs or a Prius, go ahead and do this. I think this is time well spent, well worth its money to keep your car running great. So let's go ahead and button everything back up. CT200H, hybrid battery fan cleaning job complete.